Hold up. Good afternoon, D.C. I'm Helen Haynes, and here's your news for Monday, February 26th. Good luck to the D.C. Lady Panthers basketball team as they take on Orangeboro in the 9th District Basketball Tournament starting at 7 p.m. at Apollo. On Friday, members of the DCPS Engineering Academy competed at the Murray State E-Day Competition, the robotics presentation team of Apollo Isaac Hay and D.C. Carson Decker and Stephen Bender took third place. Other D.C. members that competed included Samuel Fleming and Wyatt Turner. Congratulations to these students. DC is offering free ACT prep for sophomores and juniors. Math reviews will take place on Mondays and Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Miss Quisenberry's room, room 171. English and reading reviews will take place on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Miss Gucci's room, room 132. For more information, see the daily email or scan the QR code. Attention anyone taking the AP exam. The deadline to pay and register for an AP exam is March 1st. Please bring cash and or check to the DCHS guidance office for $19. Boys Volleyball have open gym on the following days, Tuesday, February 27th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursday, February 29th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and on Tuesday, March 5th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All interested boys are welcome. For more information, see your email, Miss Smith. Cinderella Closet Prom Assistance Referrals are now available in Miss Nicodemus's office. Stop by room 154 if you would like to sign up or need more information. Attention rising juniors and seniors, if you are thinking about taking dual credit classes next year, now is the time to begin the registration process. Be sure to check out the daily email for all the details or stop by and see Ms. Jerome in the CCR Center for more information. Now a word from Ms. Jerome in the CCR Center. Hey guys, Ms. Jerome down here at the CCR Center. Just wanted to tell you about some things that are going on down here. Um, we are still accepting the dual credit application. We'll be accepting that through March 22nd. That will be for fall dual credit classes. So if you're real interested in taking classes through OCTC or at OCTC's campus, whether it be something like English 101 or you want to go to the automotive program over there or just anything in between, please let me know. I'd be glad to help you. There's an application on your email if you're going to be a junior or senior next year. Also, students, if you applied for early college we're going to begin those interviews soon so be sure to check your email from me um, so if you need anything please stop by the CCR Center or shoot me an email thank you Hi seniors, I wanted to highlight a new scholarship for you today that was posted at the end of the last week. It is called the Flora Hornbeck Scholarship and it is worth $1,300. Um, lucky for us, Flora Hornbeck valued education and she uh, left in her endowment to benefit students with scholarships. So Davis County High School students will be awarded $1,300. And this year, I believe the number is 15. So up to 15 students can earn this scholarship. The deadline is March the 27th, and you turn it in here to me. So take a look at that. The application is fairly simple. So I hope that we will get many, many applications for the Flora Hornbeck Scholarship. Also, um, as you're looking at that website and scrolling through, you'll see that several at the top deadlines are quickly approaching as in the next two or three days or later this week. Jacob Crabtree Memorial is due February the 28th. Kentucky Farm Bureau, February the 29th. And that one is only for students who have insurance with Kentucky Farm Bureau. And then the Michael Horn. And that, as I've said before, is a really large one because it goes, it spans four years. So a lot of these local scholarships, it's a one-year, one-time payout, but that one is actually four years. So um, it might be a little bit more in-depth of what it's asking, but the payoff is great. And we typically have one to three students um, win this each year so i hope you'll look at that the deadline for it is march the first so like i said we're looking in the next couple of days if you have questions about any scholarship need help with that or any part of your college application process please come see me and as a reminder to all my seniors if you have already decided on your school of choice um, you need to go into parchment and select that your transcript be sent um, with final grade so there's an option that says send now if you click on that it says something like hold for final grades you do that to the one school of choice where you will um, end up attending that is required by the school they will not let you start in the fall without that it is free until you graduate after you graduate you'll still have to do it that way but there is a fee involved so if you already know that you're going to Murray State go on there send it and be done and then you would be complete with parchment for the year if you have any questions about that again you can come see me anytime thanks have a great day
day. Attention, Murray State University's Commonwealth Honor Academy is now taking applications. CHA is a three-week summer program held on MSU's campus. Participating students receive six hours of university credit and a scholarship to attend Murray State University. Students with a 3.5 GPA and a 25 ACT score will receive free full tuition. For more information, see guidance. Here's what's going on this afternoon at DC. The Lady Panthers basketball team is taking on Orangeboro in the 9th District Tournament starting at 7 p.m. at Apollo. As always, stay classy, stay safe, DC.